So you're in the middle of a Zoom meeting and you're ready to present some information, you share your screen, you start sharing a slide deck, maybe a video or a series of images, and all of a sudden there's annotations covering the screen, there's drawings. Now, you might well be a victim of a Zoom bomb at this very moment, or you might be the victim of being a first grade teacher. Either way, I'm gonna show you in this video how to get a hold of your user annotation abilities and permissions, as well as some of the other cool security and permission features that are buried in that zoom.us interface. And I'm also gonna show you some of the new features coming down the pipeline from Zoom that'll be releasing in the next couple weeks, and we are gonna get started right now. Hey everybody, this is Michael Cohen, The Tech Rabbi, and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing, and if at any point in time during this video you find value, please consider giving it a like. Any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get back to them. So this is a quick and easy, kind of a part two to what was a pretty successful first Zoom user to Zoom Pro user, and you can click on the I to get the access to that video right now. But what is part two all about? There are a couple more settings that I think people just need to know about so that they can easily manage and toggle and set up on the web interface. As I said before, you know, zoom.us, you log into your account. This is a free dummy account that I've set up. You get into your settings profile area under personal on the left side here, giant blue box covering which feature set you are currently in. And you wanna make sure you're in meetings. Now, you could scroll and look and it's, definitely time consuming to do that. So you can use the search feature in your browser and you are able to then search for annotation. And you can literally just toggle that off. It's simple. The other thing you could toggle off is whiteboard. Now, there are other features in here that you can toggle. There are things that I'll show you in just a moment when we get into the actual Zoom interface on the program end of it that you can quickly toggle and manage things uh, on, in that way on the fly. But these are settings right now that I'm showing you that are not located in the main Zoom program when you are engaged in a meeting. The other is going to be virtual backgrounds. So you can turn off the virtual background feature. You have to measure the empathy and awareness that you have for your students. Not everyone has a learning conducive environment and that includes teachers. So to prevent virtual backgrounds because somebody could do a inappropriate or even just a distracting background image. So I just want you to err on the side of empathy when you are looking to toggle this area in the system. So you're, you're in the Zoom interface here and, and you are able to get to this security tab, right? This thing is, is super awesome. Right over here, you have down at the bottom of your screen or at the top, wherever it's located, it's right next to participants. And you click on that and you're able to toggle chat, toggle screen sharing, renaming themselves. You're able to lock the meeting down and enable waiting room meeting. But you have these abilities here, like I said before, you don't have the virtual background, you don't have the annotation and the toggle. So this video is pretty quick, pretty simple. These are the three most recent updates that people have requested and I figured let's make a video about it. Now if you have questions or you have an additional feature, the comment section is a great place to let me know where, what, why, I need to help you and I'm excited to do that. So thank you so much for watching this. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if now you're excited that you are able to get a hold of that annotation management on your Zoom classroom. And thank you so much for watching and remember together we are able to build that creative courage to make learning awesome.